So I want to play another clip that Case Study QB brought to my attention. Uh, this is of Joe Scarborough on MSNBC's show Morning Joe. He is talking about foreign policy as it relates to Iran. And what he says here, it should make your blood boil. Oh, uh, let me ask Matt, is this, uh, is it Iran? Uh, you said there's some suspicion there, but does it seem that Iran has its fingerprints all over these attacks? It just looks that way because of, I mean, there's really nobody else to focus blame on. This has been going on for a while. This really does look like tit for tat attacks because remember those that february 26th attack that the biden administration did along the border between iraq and syria that itself was retaliation for a previous attack by rockets that went against a u.s backed base in iraqi kurdistan in the capital of iraqi kurdistan in erbil near the international airport there so this really does just look like yet another tit for tat attack and so that's why this is going to be another, you know, we're talking about the Pope. This is also going to be really complicated for the Biden administration's stated desire to reinstate that nuclear deal with Iran, the JCPOA, the one that the Obama administration signed in 2015. And of course, Joe Biden himself had a lot to do with that. And that the Trump administration then walked away from in 2018. If these tit for tat attacks keep going on, if the Biden administration retaliates, we could see any effort to try to return to that nuclear deal become really, really complicated. All right, NBC's Matt Bradley, thank you so much. You know, Willie, uh, as long as the Iranians are trying to kill Americans and trying to kill American contractors and they're killing American contractors, we need to respond, my opinion, not yours. But I'll, also the last thing I'd be worried about is going back and sitting down the, with the Iranians and doing anything, because this country has been the epicenter of terrorism since 1979, and they keep trying to kill American troops, and they keep trying to kill American contractors. Yeah. I, I think it's okay for us to take that personally and say we're not going to sit down with terrorists while this continues. So I don't have much to say about this, because I think that the clip speaks for itself, but he is quite literally on national television advocating for war with Iran. Not only for more strikes with Iran, to go tit for tat with them, but he takes it a step further and says we should not rejoin the JCPOA. The Iran nuclear deal, which is effectively a peace agreement that the United States chose to unilaterally withdraw from. He's saying Joe Biden shouldn't just not even entertain re-entering that agreement with Iran but we should continue to escalate. This is absolutely absurd, but it's totally predictable. I mean, this is the network that told us that the uh, weapons of war were beautiful. I think that it was uh, Brian Williams who said that when Trump bombed Syria. And now when Biden bombed Syria, they're basically applauding him. Yay! More bombs, please. Good job, sir. We appreciate it. We know that you haven't gotten out those $1,400 stimulus checks, even though you promised 2000 but I'm so glad that you're choosing to prioritize bombing Syria first. Thank you so much. The American people definitely appreciate this. Now, assuming Joe Scarborough were an actual journalist who cared, here's a question that he might want to ask. Why the fuck are we in Iraq to begin with? What are we doing in Iraq? You see, there wouldn't be this tit for tat if we weren't in Iraq. Are we just supposed to, like, stay in Iraq forever? Is it going to become the 51st state before D.C. and Puerto Rico? Like, what is the end goal here? Why are we in Iraq? They didn't have weapons of mass destruction. Uh, we, we toppled Saddam Hussein. We catalyzed the civil war in Iraq. When do we leave? Now we're there so long that we're actually choosing to wage proxy wars there. Why isn't Joe Scarborough, with his gigantic platform, millions of viewers asking this question? Because he's a hack. Anything that the Democratic Party does, even though he's a conservative, is good. Meanwhile, on Fox News, you know, um, they'll applaud Donald Trump, stay silent when he bombs Syria at a minimum, but then you'll have their ghouls like Tucker Carlson, you know, speak as if this is a terrible thing. Now, the truth is that it's bad bombing Syria, having a proxy war with Iran in Iraq is a bad thing regardless of which administration is in power. I don't care if the president has a D or an R next to his name.
war is bad. And the question isn't whether or not, you know, um, we should do more to be antagonistic towards Iran and not re-enter this peace agreement that would prevent war. The question is, why are we in Iraq and the Middle East at all? That's what a responsible journalist or pundit would ask. But, you know, Joe Scarborough, he's not there to uh, really challenge the establishment or question the status quo he is there to propagate the agenda of the democratic party and if that agenda is bombing syria and escalating with iran he will support it unequivocally and unquestionably so but we can't allow them to get a pass when pundits with large platforms dangerously and recklessly saber rattle and beat the war drums it's not okay it's not okay when fox news does it and it sure as shit isn't okay when MSNBC does it.